Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can create this type of loader in your react JS application. So video is going to be more important and before starting the video I would like to request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos. Without any delay let's start. So friends first of all you can see that I have created a basic react chase project and open this in my visual studio code. The next part is I will remove this header command from here. Inside your source folder you need to create a new folder. I am going to name this components. Inside this I will create my component for example spinner.js. Here I will type rfc. So basically this is a basic structure of a functional component in react chase. Now I need to import this spinner.js inside my app.js. To do this first of all I will remove these uh, first two lines because we don't really need them and to import the spinner.js I will type here import spinner from we have a components folder that we created and inside this we have a file named spinner.js so we have imported this component in app.js and now I will simply type here uh, spinner similarly to a singular tag in HTML like this uh, so first of all before moving forward I want to see the output of my current application to do this I will open the built-in terminal in Visual Studio code here I will type npm start here you can see that after running that command you will see your application will run in a browser and here we have a simple spinner text uh, that was printing here inside our spinner component. But now we need to write the actual logic for our spinner. So first of all what I am going to do I will type here import use state hook. So we need to import this use state hook uh, we will use it for our functionality and also if I will type here comma and we also need use effect hook. We will use these two hooks in our this logic. First of all inside our spinner function I am going to type const and spinner and set spinner is equal to use state and the default value would be true. And then inside our return statement I will remove this div and we will create a simple this empty div to wrap our content and here I will type spinner and and then I will type this bracket and here for example let me type here I am G source is equal to empty so this is a basic image tag here uh, first of all I'm going to import the spinner image from a website so let me open my browser here I am going to type here loading.io so you can see this website so they, they provided you different type of logos uh, different type of loading bars so I am going to use this default one you can click on this SVG and on this animated section so it will maybe ask you for login or sign up first so you need to sign up and then you can download this SVG to your computer I have already do that or maybe this is up to you you can download any SVG uh, animated loading bar from any website so this is up to you but I have choose this loading.io so first of all let me uh, go to my computer and I have copied that spinner SVG and now inside my source folder I'm going to type here images and then I will right click on it and reveal in file explorer. So here inside this images folder that we have created now I am going to paste this spinner.svg. So this was the image that I download from that website and I am pasting that image here. So now let me close this. So now you can see that inside our images folder we have spinner.svg. And now we need to import this uh, like spinner image from let me type here first of all we need to go back and here we have images folder because currently we were in our components folder so first of all I type here dot dot back so we can move backward and then I type my images folder name and then I'm going to type here spinner dot svg so 
now I will simply copy this remove these double quotes from here and type these brackets and paste this spinner image here so you can see that so uh, once our this application will load it so first of all you can see that we have assigned a default value to our this spinner variable uh, which is a state management variable and first of all it will check either this variable is true if true then we have an and operator and if this spinner will be true the html that we are going to write inside our this bracket will be displayed to the user otherwise in programming there is a rule if the first condition of your if statement will become false the second conditions will not be checked so let me again go back to the browser and you can see that we have this beautiful loader image so now for example after a few time or maybe after on a button click you want to uh, hide this loading bar so let me show you how you can do that for example again here i'm going to type here import app.css so the reason why i'm doing here because in our app.css we have an app class and which will center the content of our spinner you can also center this by using another method but i'm going to use the default css file that is given when we create a new react.js project so now for example after your page loading you want to dismiss this loading bar maybe after a few seconds or maybe you want to do this on a button click or when you will send an api request to your server and when your response will come back you want to dismiss this so i am going to teach you that how you can dismiss this but in this method uh, i will dismiss this loading bar after maybe two or three seconds of page load so let me show you how we can do that we will open the spinner.js inside our the spinner function i will type use effect inside this we will pass two parameters the first one will be a call callback function and the second one will be an empty array so maybe you will be familiar with that otherwise you need to learn the use effect hook in react.js to understand why i have put this uh, bracket here so inside this i'm going to type here set time out and here i'm going to type i'm going to create a variable like time out is equal to 3000 seconds and then once 3000 uh, not seconds but 3000 milliseconds it means 3 seconds so it means when 3 seconds will be passed so what we are going to do i am going to type here set spinner is equal to false so once the our spinner's value will be false our this image will not be displayed to the user so this was our logic friends uh, let me run my application let me refresh so you can see that our loader is displaying and after three seconds it disappears let me again refresh and you can see that the loader is displaying and after three seconds it is disappeared so simply what you need to do using this set spinner uh, function you need to pass false parameter to this uh, which is a use state hook callback function to update the value of our spinner so once this spinner variable uh, value will be false our this image will not be displayed to the user so i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching